Back to the book, while the mortars obscured the enemy's view, Van Winkle moved his people up. So you got the mortars dropping fire, and that allows Van Winkle to move his people. That's called cover and move, by the way. Nearing the top of the ravine, Hank Kaiser positioned his assault squad to follow a barrage of grenades into the enemy positions as soon as the mortars lifted. So you got three situations. You got the mortars are going in, that's the first cover. Then once the mortars lift, they're gonna throw grenades, that's your second cover. Mm. The ammo carriers for the marine machine guns filled in with riflemen on the line of assault ready to charge up the last few yards of ground. Lee was with them, bayonet fixed to the top of his carbine. The mortars fired a final barrage. Their explosions were followed by the sharper impact of grenades thrown at enemy holes. Shouts and war cries swelled from charging marines who leaped bayonets pointed into the enemy positions that were dug in along the face of the ridge. Some of the North Koreans stood to fight, their bayonets also fixed, but they were cut down. Others scurried over the hill, many were shot from behind as they tried to escape. We all knew it had been a far from perfect exercise. Some of the men had been slow to respond to direction. Not all of our orders were clear enough for quick and effective fire and movement. We were fortunate that the enemy had not chosen a fight to the death defense of this hill as they would have advanced, as they would when we advanced further north. So think about this point. Not all of our orders were clear enough for quick and effective fire and movement. He's not even blaming the guys. He knows that the mistake was that they weren't being simple, clear, concise with their orders. And that makes everything lag. Mm -hmm. 